me get this straight. Ian didn't actually come out and say that he caused Riley's injuries. Charlie, the look on his face when I accused him, the fact that he wanted to blackmail me, I think he did it. OK, I'll get on to Doc's. Good. But after the conversation I had with Riley the other day, I doubt he's ready to speak up against his dad. Well, you can't leave him there with Ian. What if he hits him again? Docs will look into it. But without any physical evidence or Riley coming forward, I can't charge him with the assault or the blackmail attempt. It's going to come down to your word against his. But can I ask you something? Yes, what? When Ian started pressing you, why didn't you come to me for help? Well, there was very little you could have done to protect me. So you were going to pay him off to keep him quiet? I was tempted. You know what? I'm really tired. Charlie, I just want this whole thing to end. Miles, I don't want you giving up hope, okay? I might not be able to charge him with blackmail, but that doesn't mean I can't use it as leverage. Meaning what? Meaning I'll do whatever it takes to get you off the assault charges and to keep Riley safe. called the school this morning, but Riley didn't turn up for class. Which explains why docs haven't managed to speak to him yet. They haven't made contact with Ian, right? No, oh, he's not returning their calls. Fine, but no surprises there. Riley, hey. Is your dad home? I've been sick, that's why I haven't been at school. No, that's okay. We just wanted to talk to your dad about something. Sorry, he's not here. Riley, can you tell me about that bruise on your cheek? What happened? Look, maybe we could come inside and talk. Try and figure some things out. How does that sound? I get the feeling maybe things aren't so easy for you here at home sometimes. Is that right? Ah, uh, it's OK. Dad looks after me. It's just, if anything's happening, maybe something doesn't feel OK, well, we're here to help. You can't fix anything. No one can. Look, Riley, that's not true. What are you doing here anyway? Well, we're trying to find out why a smart kid like you wants to hurt people. Look, I know that you're scared and that you're angry. And you probably have a very good reason to be. You don't know anything about me. Riley, you're not alone here, OK? If you want things to change, all you need to do is speak up. My dad... He gets mad at me. I do things, I, I mess things up. He doesn't mean to hurt me. Is it your dad who hurt you, not Miles? What's going on here? Mr. Radcliffe, I'm going to ask you to accompany me down to the station. I'm going to the cops, mate. I didn't say anything. They just rocked up. I didn't want to let them in. Right, can you take Riley outside, please? Thank you. Oh, coming around here scaring my kid. You've got some explaining to do. I'm not the one with anything to explain. You know, you might find ways to convince yourself that it's OK to assault your child, but I'm here to tell you that it ends right now. Hey, what the hell are you on about? If Riley said that, he's lying. OK, well, we can talk about it down at the station. For the moment, all you need to know is that the charges against Miles are being dropped. Oh, you put her up to this, right? No, this is a police matter, pure and simple. I'll be taking Riley to the hospital for a checkup, but I can't see Doc's bringing him home after that. Hey, you think I don't know my rights? I'm not letting anyone take my kid away from me. What do you mean, your rights? Your kid is terrified of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, this isn't over. I'll make sure you go down for what you right. did. That's enough. Let's go. Come on. Move it. 